and TV show recaps. We review and read them too. As long as they're Black Brian and Lamar hosting the show, remain unbiased. In case you don't know, now you know. It's a love what love is shown. It's out to the imagination. Disclaimer, no matter if we liked your movie, liked your show, or hated the show, or hated your movie, doesn't matter. We respect you, shout outs to you, and we support you, and we try to get everybody else to support you like we support you. Black on Black Prime, we stand on what we say, though. And just like always, if you didn't ask for our opinion, we didn't ask you to listen to it. So, sorry. Click and turn it off. (laughs) It was all a dream. Man, if you don't get the hell out of here with that shit, man. When they say it was all a dream, like that means he never had a party either? That means the party never happened. That means the trip to Hawaii never happened. That means nothing ever happened. The burnt bacon didn't happen. Nothing happened. So we just been uh, rolling along in this this dream? Absolutely. How how would so <laughs> it's like giving somebody uh like it was it was low key good. I was like, all right, cool. Like he, you know, shook his hand or whatever. He's just like, all right, you know, kill him for double, boom. He kills him in jail, he gets his wife. That's like a cool ending to a, a trilogy. And to be like, never mind. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Like I don't. It's like I don't like. Oh man, it was horrible now. But it's just like, why you do that? Because you you had something like a good little story, but it was all a dream. So I <laughs> initially I was like the same way, but at the same time I was like, fuck it, yeah, all the black people survived. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I if, you just, if you just think of the logic of the whole movie, nothing really made sense. Nothing, nothing that happened in this movie really made sense. Like that, we was talking about the planning of the trip, how they had to have dinner meetings. Yeah. None of that shit made none of it made sense. Rich, rich niggas needing Hawaii trips to be paid for. Mm-hmm. They're already rich. It's, it's still the money to pay for shit. Like none, of, none of it made sense. Um, even the surprise party itself didn't take all that planning. Like none of it made sense. So I'm like, fuck it, yeah. I mean, I guess I guess you're right. I mean, you know what I mean. I think it would have been doper if it would have been more unreal. I mean, I guess it was a lot of unrealistic shit that happened, but it was like more like on the like whoa, like that's not reality. Like wait a minute, <laughs> you know what I mean. But I, get, you know, a lot of stuff. If you pay attention to the little small details, then yeah, there's no way a lot of this shit could have happened. But right, because even 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 in part three that. The writing was all over the place. Like, uh, he buried the body. Then he texts her. He texts his wife from the dead girl's phone. But then when, he, when his wife calls, she's like, yeah, she went out of town. He's like, what? Like, like he's surprised. Like, oh, shit, she went out of town. I didn't know that. Yeah. Then when the wife uh, sees him in person, she's like, yeah, she went out of town. She didn't tell you where she was going? It's like, nigga, I already told you in the car. I didn't know she was even going out of town. Like, why would she tell me where she's going? The nigga had dreams within dreams because he was having dreams while he was in mm-hmm. his dream about, you know, the it's girl so- coming back, all of that. So I don't know, man. As a as a writer, what do you call that? Like, like what is that to you? Uh, what do you mean? Like, for somebody to go that for somebody to go that route, I feel like that wasn't the you think that was from the start when she wrote number one. Oh, do you do I? You, you say do I think that's what she meant to do? Right, or did was it like kind oh. of like a last minute joint? Like, oh well, you know what? I think it was. It was a. Uh, I, I think it was a uh, uh, satisfy satisfying your audience. 
because like, like people like these characters you know yeah, what i mean yeah. so, now, so now she opened the door to where it's like i could use these same characters in the same world to do something else because mm-hmm. in, in the other world in the in the original ending i think that was the original ending that added the the sleep shit yeah but it's like in the original ending everything is done like it, it, like uh this nigga's in jail for life the the secretary is buried and then now she's really fucking with uh Greg like right. they really been fucking with each other so it's like it's kind of like that would be the end of the story like this nigga's not gonna get out of jail mm. you know what I mean you could take it there because the the hitman is still alive you could take another angle but it's like uh more fanfare to just be like fuck it we'll end it here and act like it was all the drink. Mm. So I did pay attention to the ending credits for a second. It was just like thank blah 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 for added ending. Like, you see that? No. Okay. So in the credits, it was like, thank these people for an added ending. So maybe it was like, of course, it, it wasn't planned. Mm-hmm. But somebody might have gave her an idea. Like, hey, how about you say that shit was all a dream? Yeah. We can continue the franchise however way we want to. Right. That's and that's and that's what I that's if I was to do that, that's why I would be doing it. Like now I can take a d- different direction with these same characters because we fuck with the character. Mm. You can't make a four. Nah, well, you 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 could, you could, but um, David can't be the crazy one no more. Mm. It had to be like it had to be like a different angle of something else happening. Yeah, I just felt like taking that angle of it was all a dream to make a part four is kind of weird because it's like this is based on surprise parties or whatever, right? Uh, I mean, uh, um, I th- if they would have, if they would have had a scene, right? And I don't even remember this because it was a while since we've watched number one. It's probably about a year at this point. If number mm-hmm. one, it would have been like we would have got to know David in a different way, and he would have kind of been like, man, like I hate surprise parties. Like you know what I mean? He would have been the one that like he put that out there, like you know I hate them, this that and the they, other. And then he went they through did, a whole they dream. Did. Oh. I want to tell you they 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 okay. did talk about it uh because he was I think he was telling her like I don't want no surprise parties and she was saying that in there like I wouldn't do that because I know you don't like them on the first one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have to spend the block on that one because I, I yeah. like that I, I get that then in, in that case it's like kind of gives you hints that he don't like a surprise party so why would he get one he has a yeah. dream about having a surprise party it makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. And then and that's why she kind of said it like we already talked about this. Yeah. Yeah, so that so I guess that, that, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Does it make sense for number four? In my eyes, no. Now, now that sure. they did, now that they did that, now that he's woken woke up from the dream, it doesn't make sense. But that don't mean they ain't gonna do it, right? Um. So, uh, so the reason why I say I can see this happening because I uh, I listen to audio books and this is a book called um um. I don't know. What it's, I don't know what it's called, but it's written by Jaquavius. You know the <laughs> yeah, yeah. by him and his wife. And one of the, so they had, it was like a eight part series, but one of the books had, a, it was like a whole full book and it happened to all be a dream. Mm-hmm. But then he did come out with the next book and it continues the story on. So it's very possible. Yeah. Like I've, I've seen it done before. So it, it, it's, it's, they could take the angle of being like, we could continue here or we could just stop it here. But what I'm saying is you, you get the, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of satisfying to see black people ain't dead, I guess. in a sense. <laughs> <laughs> For me, that's that's how I started thinking like, oh, that he didn't really kill this woman. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. ain't nobody did. Yeah, because um... it was it's just that the storyline was so ridiculous. Like how they how they couldn't afford the Hawaii thing, but he's coming up with twenty thousand every every time the hitman says, "I need twenty thousand, He just got it. Yeah. Uh, he, he driving his fucking luxury vehicles. Even here, they changed the vehicles. Like you got rid of that truck and got a different truck. Yeah. It doesn't make no sense why they can't go back to their house, why they still had to stay here. Like a lot of shit just wasn't making sense for the story. So for them to say it was all a dream, it kind of like it kind of like wipes the board of everything you was thinking about. No, yeah, no, I get you. This one was kind of dragging a little bit, like the storyline. Definitely. I feel definitely. like all of the extras of like like this nigga was like I feel like he was caught red handed by everybody. Like everybody knew that this nigga did it, but it was still like this nigga chilling. He, you know, what yeah. I mean, he he, he watching yeah. movies with his wife. He, I mean, he almost chilling like he didn't do what he did. Right, right. So it's like, nigga, anytime the phone would ring, nigga, my heart would have came out of my chest. <laughs> you know what I mean? This nigga in there chilling, eating popcorn, like ain't nothing happened. 
Uh, he going to work, you know what I mean? Greg show up to his house. He's just like, gee! They got me mad as a motherfucker. Like, they, man. They, 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 the writing was all, because it's like, it's like, even think of this scene when he went to go see Greg in the hospital, Greg was already gone. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the lady's like, you couldn't call him because he lost his phone. He like, damn, all right. Very next scene, he's trying to call Greg. Come yeah. on, Greg, pick up. Like, nigga, you just, I don't know if y'all misplaced that scene, but she, she just told you he don't have a phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you called a hitman and threatened him. <laughs> <laughs> like, you called a hitman and threatened this nigga? That nigga, he, back, he backtracked later on. He was like, man, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to track <laughs> that man. Um, <laughs> please. But it, 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 it's just a lot of shit. Uh, in the real world, doesn't make sense. Even with the uh, uh, the girl and the vacation thing, because when the police showed up and they like, you didn't hear nothing about vacation, and then he's telling the police like, yeah, she just woke me up and told me she was leaving. It was the middle of I the thought, night. Yeah, I thought the wife would be like, wait a minute, you said you didn't know where she was going or you didn't know she left, but they were just like, no, nah, fuck that. That's what happened. Like, move on. They might have realized a lot of shit didn't make sense. But like, you know what? Let's make this shit a dream. Yeah, hey, that's how you clean it all up. Fuck it. Yeah, it was just like that nigga going to the gravesite with the phone and then destroying the phone at the gravesite is ridiculous. They're leaving the phone there. Yeah, it, that, that, <laughs> that's, it, that's ridiculous. Like, let me take this there so they can ping it right here at the gravesite. <laughs> that don't, that literally makes no sense. Uh, uh, it, it's 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 a lot that just don't add up. Greg not immediately turning in that uh evidence. And being like, I got to go take some tests, so I'm going to leave the evidence here because ain't nobody going to come in here. Yeah. I don't know how the evidence got here, but ain't nobody going to come take it, so I'm going to leave it here yeah. <laughs> and, and go for these shots. It, it's, it's, it, it doesn't doesn't really make sense or add up. I'll say that. Yeah, man. And then that nigga said, <laughs> and then they put the wire on him. He, Greg was like, come to the house. I mean, David's like, come to the house. This nigga comes to the house. As soon as David get there, that nigga like, don't trust him. Damn, man. Dude. Like, what you what you come over here for? <laughs> it's like, what? As like as a if some if your wife is there and your best friend say something like that, she was just like, Oh, they say something like that, and they just go on about their day. Like, yeah. That's a little suspicious. But you know, at the end of the at the end of the day, she's still saying at you know, at the end, she was like, Well, I knew all this time that you had something to do with all of this shit, but I loved you this much and blah, blah, blah. So what you crying for? <laughs> Clean that shit up, man. You also, part of the, this. <laughs> also, it's like they when David did call and threaten the hitman, the hitman said, I gave him the evidence. He knows everything. He knows you're involved in everything. Mm -hmm. it, but then David's still like, I don't know what he's mad about. Like, Nigga, he knows you tried to kill him. He knows. Hey, man. I don't know, man. Uh, I'm sure everybody's happy that, you know, part three came out because niggas been waiting on this shit forever in our comments. Like, we dropped the movie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like we, we have nothing to do with the production or writing of this movie. <laughs> you know, we was probably the first ones to review it, if anything. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, as, as, a, as a whole, I still I, I still fuck with it on a certain level. Like I said, the, the, the dream sequence, at first, I was like you, like you just reacted, like, yeah. make it the fuck out of here. But then I, <laughs> Kind of like all the black people still alive. I fuck with that. Like I, right. I fuck with the fact that ain't nobody get killed. Yeah, it was cool for the most part. I thought part three could have been a little bit. They didn't have to drag part three along. Though I think part three could have been like an hour. Yeah, <laughs> they could have cut out forty of them minutes, bro. Yeah, um, uh, uh, it, it did. It seems like a. It seemed like it was like um in certain words. I don't want to say in certain scenes. In certain words. Like to, to yeah. stretch the scene out. No, just certain scenes were just overly long and extra scenes that, like, in a director's cut, it was like, what do we need this scene for? Like, this nigga chilling with his homies at the, you know, they're watching a the movie, he get a phone call. It was like, oh, uh, it was, they went to a bar. Uh, it was a scene where he was just in the car when uh, it was another scene where after the funeral, she got in the car with no audio or nothing. I'm just like, all of these scenes could be just chipped out, but yeah. you know, it's the whole dream sequence. And yeah. I was rolling when that nigga, um, <laughs> when he got to jail, <laughs> that little the jail montage had me dying. He's doing push ups. He's doing. I was just like real quick. I'm in jail. I'm doing push ups in the, in the with a bunk bed in the background. And when he held up that welcome to kindergarten little uh poster thingy, <laughs> I was like, they look. Like, oh, that shit looked real kindergarten. Like, 
Hey, that nigga did all three poses. <laughs> And he said something to his wife, though, at the end when he was leaving the house. I thought that was going to be like a clue or something, but it kind of just went away because it was like, you have the right to remain silent. He was like, hold on, let me get my wife my... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I was what was that? that about? What was that? I'm telling you a lot. I felt like a lot of this shit was supposed to... It was supposed to be something, and it mm-hmm. was like, damn, we didn't finish that part, so let's just... Yeah. I think maybe maybe they maybe they got tired of writing these. Maybe they maybe they had an idea for part four, but then it was just like, man, I don't want to write part four. It's like it, it's gonna get more ridiculous. So that's probably like dream sequence. Let's let's yeah. let's just, let's cap it. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was all a dream. Fuck it. We used to we wrote up magazines. Yep. But exactly. yeah, man, I I guess, you know what I mean? <laughs> Check it out. It's on Tubi. I don't really have too much to say about it. <laughs> it's like we never, we do. Check out one review. Check out yeah. number two review. Um, check out check out the movie. Check out the trilogy. So I, at this point, I don't. I wouldn't be surprised because I, <laughs> I I hate using the word surprise while we talk about this. Surprise, motherfucker. I, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a part four, but at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't. Cause I I didn't think it was gonna be a part two. Brian knew, but I thought I thought it was done at one. Like I, <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna, Brian work. Yeah, ask Brian about part four. He worked up there. We about to do at, at the end of this review. We are gonna say uh, we didn't do this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we, All it, it, it was a dream. Y'all didn't even see us review it. <laughs> All of the all the reviews we just gonna take them down from our our website. I mean our YouTube <laughs> page. <laughs> And like, what happened to that shit? It never happened. <laughs> yeah, but I do fuck with it. Like I said, even though even getting past the ridiculousness, I I still fucked with what we saw. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely one of the better Tubi movies that we've uh, that we've watched. Mm. You know, so now does uh, does Janai Black have anything else out on Tubi? Right now, I don't know. Well, I can check. Janai Black comment under uh, this video so they can know uh, who wrote this shit. And um, cause we 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 was getting hit up like, when part three dropping? I can't wait for part. Like we hey we hey, <laughs> <laughs> like niggas be on there were just like, man, y'all y'all should be able to see this one. And see Where'd that y'all one? get that song for part two? Like, we didn't get nothing. <laughs> Don't look like Janai Black wrote this motherfucker. Hold on. Oh shit! This uh the person that wrote this is uh. Jayla Mosley and the director is Rocky Black. Let me see who directed part two. Did I just uh throw somebody's name in there? I might have fucked up a lot. Probably. Let's see. Yeah, this is this is all written by Jayla Mosley. The second one's written by Jayla Mosley, Paris Jones, and Andre Ray. Um Janai Black wrote the first one. Okay. Okay. She passed that shit off like a scary movie. <laughs> I got other shit. <laughs> yeah, so she probably a part of like this is probably her baby or whatever, and she probably, you know, slid that shit off. I don't wonder what happened. I wonder if she has something to do with part two. I, 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 I definitely seen her name somewhere. Like while we, I was watching the credits or the the beginning credits, she was in there somewhere. So, yeah, maybe it's produced by Janai Black. Probably, but she definitely did part one. So. I mean, it is what it is. I think it's like Ryan said. We don't it ain't too much to talk about. It kind of it was all the dream. Like, what did you? We woke review, up. Want to review it or it didn't really happen? What really happened? The, the, uh, everything. Like the movie didn't happen. So you want to review it? It's like it's almost what like movie? oh okay. So uh, we'll holla at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend this didn't happen. I mean, it's a quick review. We got this is this is literally just a, a continuation ending for what we saw from one and two. That's that's pretty much it. It wasn't nothing to hold on to. Uh, nothing came of the nurse. I thought the nurse was at least gonna be a part of some. She wasn't. Um, the 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 hitman who don't answer the phone was answering the shit out that phone and getting involved. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Greg knowing about the hitman was kind of. Sh- all the way stretched, but it was a dream. Uh, um, um, the the wife going on vacation, the retreat, and then at, and then turning around, and being like, "I want to go visit my parents." It was weird, but it was all a dream. 
Hey, man. Cold out green, though. Hey, I like how she texted the girl and was like, hey, girl, thanks for letting us stay with you. And then the, the response was, I'm leaving town. Watch my house. <laughs> Where you going? I'll be back. It's nighttime. You don't find that suspicious? You don't think that's suspicious? Don't ever tell me to just watch your house. <laughs> find what I said first. I'm, I'm, I ain't watching shit. Who watching our house? Nigga Lamar texts me at 10 o'clock at night. Like, yo, we going out of town. It's like, nigga, okay. This <laughs> <laughs> is late. We're going out of town. Watch the house. Like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that that don't that don't call for a phone call <laughs> at all, nigga. It's just like, I'm just gonna text y'all late at night. Yeah. I just like well, okay, so uh, just before we wrap this shit up, do you remember why they couldn't be at the house? Uh, I don't, it was a while ago, man. Um, I don't remember. Maybe it was getting like something going, something done to their house. No. Was it something like a renovation? No, uh, it was like a, because of the investigation, they couldn't go home or some shit like that. It was something like that. But then they still in contact with everybody that was involved in the case. So it was like, they they act like don't, don't nobody know where they, where they at. <laughs> yeah, man. Lisa, mama ain't shit either. <laughs> she ain't worth a damn, nigga. It's just like your daughter been missing for all of these days. She didn't tell you where she was going, but she did <laughs> send you a cryptic ass uh, phone call that you just yeah. you just said, "All right." She was like, "Something happened. To, <laughs> if something happened to me." Do da 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 da. Like my mom would have been just like, "What the fuck, me?" My mom would have been all over the place. What the fuck does that mean? She'd have been on her way right now. Oh, man, what? She Get the fuck out that. of that house? What are you talking about? Right. It's like, man, let me call all your friends. <laughs> Let me see what's happening with your ass. Yeah, I'll that. be back. Like what? <laughs> the fuck? How old you is? My daughter could be forty. I'm like what are you talking about? <laughs> and your mama ain't leaving your house. She's like, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And then she walk out the house. No, nah, this is my daughter's house. Y'all get the fuck out. Get your shit and get out. Mama ain't worth two nickels. Yeah, y'all think my baby's dead? They didn't even show the phone call for that. They they moved on. <laughs> I'm hella mad she had a, a selfie picture in the frame. In our house. I was like, what the fuck is this, man? Don't nobody put these kind of pictures in frames. And it was our and it was in our funeral. It was the same picture of her in the car like. <laughs> like, damn, I know goddamn well she got more pictures than that. <laughs> <laughs> if I die, you better not use no selfie on my bitch. Where I'm just like. It's all a dream, man. It's all a dream sequence. It's all it's all a dream. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the laptop and being like, "What's her birthday?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that that even? Oh man! Anyway, it's all man. Dream, man. It's all I'm not reviewing this shit, man. It was all right. Yeah, we we don't need to write it. Fuck it. Anyway, um, like, share, subscribe, talk to us, talk about whatever. If you did, let us know how y'all felt about the movie. And no, we're not part of the team. No, we don't know if it's another surprise coming out. We watch it just like y'all. But it was all a dream. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok. <laughs>